Good morning. Good morning to you. How are you this fine morning? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm ready to replay this one. You are. Maybe. Good week? Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Every week's a good week now. Yeah. Spring has sprung, and I realize that once the pollen clears, we're going to be okay. But I hope so. I, I do want that to happen fairly soon. Because I'm definitely tired of taking all these antihistamines and oh yeah, man, inhalers and yep. The, the coughing and wheezing hour is now to begin. Yes, I have the looming specter while the weather is good. I got to purge stuff from the shed. Oh, I got to do that. It's been it's just been looming there forever, and it's time. You know, pretty soon gonna be an empty nester and just too much stuff. It's just too much oh. crap out there. I don't know why I have yeah. it. It's just there. Well. I've been working on my closet in my office, and I'm amazed at stuff I haven't thrown away through the years. Yep. And I, I've got my original, my original Macintosh computer, and it's like, I told my wife, you know, I, I, I know this works, and it's got some games on it, but I know I'm never going to play those games. So I just need to bite the bullet and rip the hard drive out and take the rest of it to the recycle place and well, there's there's big money in old computers. For of course, if I could fire up my old, well, I didn't have a Macintosh, but my friends did. But but I just remember the the fond memories of the ancient art of war and the ancient art of war at sea. Good times. Uh, ah, yes. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about the old days. We're here to talk. No, about, we aren't. No, we're here to talk about Burnside takes command. We are returned with scenario number one. This is our replay of. The Lincoln Stanton plan, and if you've not watched the first episode, we're going to start doing this as we do with every one of these modules. Go back and watch the first one because we talk for an extra 30 minutes on what it's all about and what our thoughts are on it. And this one's going to be much more condensed because this is just soup to nuts, baby. It's right back at it. We've switched sides. Roger's going to be the Union this time and I'm going to take the Confederates and uh, I don't have to do much I don't have all the instructions I just have to react to whatever you're gonna do so you've had a week to uh, think about it we did have one correction which you're saying why are you doing corrections on these scenarios but it was pointed out to us there is an error with this module and we want to thank Holger for sharp-eyed Holger because it will make a difference on this and this one and I have already let Alberto know that the automation on the fortifications that are added, the entrenchments that are added during recovery, is set too high. Uh, we're in oh, eight, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're in 1862. So when you recover your entrenchments, if you've got nothing and you've not gone to any fatigues, you should only get breastworks build. So it really takes two days to dig a trench. And so there's no way the last, well, so spoilers no we no way last week that uh, those cavalry could have been at fort level three so yeah we'll just we'll hand wave that that's no problem i still failed it's okay uh but yeah the, the entrenchments will need to be dialed down a tad for this one so we'll have to manually do that after each recovery that was the only correction that i saw thank you for everyone you made that the single most watched video thus far on patrick's tactics within two days i had close to 400 views of it so thank you very much that is the secret roger we just have to do something different every week that is it people like the new well, hotness <laughs> that's what a lot of people do you know i i you know i i do watch a couple channels and people will play a scenario out of a game and then I'll do the next week will be a scenario out of another, you know, not, you know, World War II, Civil War, Napoleonics. They just, and I'm like, wow, great. They have all those games to play. And, but, sure. uh, sure. Well, I thought we'd get some attention because this is, you know, we talked about the old times. This isn't a game that's not, it was ever readily available. It was a skirmisher. And I thought people would be interested in it. And I think I, I just missed the entrenchments because we went from 1864 to this and it was like, my mind didn't make the connection. I yeah, did that either. Was pretty, yeah. That was a pretty significant yeah. 
error. That's it fine. really was. The only immediate impact was my attack there at the very yeah. end, but also it would have affected Brandy Station because you had been yep. piling up. Yeah. So don't worry about it. I mean, Culpepper, I mean, the whole, yeah. It, so, yeah, we just have to pay attention, I guess, do a recovery. And uh, yeah, I've looked at this. I think. It's not easy to win, I don't think, this scenario for the Union. I mean, I've got to get some really good march rolls. I'm, I'm going to try to take advantage of that Grand Division plus two, but that's not easy the way they're organized. So we'll see. <laughs> I'll do the best I can. Well, I Hope will say that uh, I, I think some of the the enthusiasm for the viewership was just born out of, yes, it is out of the ordinary. It's a title that is very difficult to come by. Many people were asking in the comments, where is this from? And I said, well, you know, watch the first five minutes. You'll, you'll see that it's from Skirmisher 2. But uh, also people were like, where can I get a Skirmisher 2? It's out, you know. So everybody was out there just looking for those, those buddies on the Internet that can help them out. Uh, I understand. I totally get it. Uh, we What we will try to do with these scenarios is give you indirect information about it with the victory points and, and all that stuff. Sadly, though, until they decide to reprint it, which, coincidentally enough, <laughs> I, I guess I'm, I'm not speaking out of turn here, but uh, you and I got an email this week yeah. from uh, Chris Withers, who is one of the developers on the Great Campaign series, and apparently we have caught some notice between him and Joe Balakowski and based on the response that that first video got that they have decided that perhaps it is a good time to consider reprinting this in in all of the suggestions that we were saying perhaps down the road in some form or fashion and they would like us to act as play testers on this so they want us to take some notes and get some comments and feedback uh, based on the balance issues and the gameplay issues and everything i know just based on our discussion there at the very end we need to tighten up all the language on the activation of grand divisions for grand assaults you know things like that just to kind of just so it's it's absolutely crystal clear as the union player what process you need to go through step one do this step two do this step three do that I think that was the only language that was, you and I read it three or four times, and I scratched my head about it, and I'm like, eh, eh, I think I got it, but I don't, I mean, I obviously we were probably making it much more complex than it needed to be or was intended, so I think just from a rule writing standpoint, that that could be polished a little bit. Um, balance, we will see after today if it is nigh impossible for the Union to pick up the 14 victory points they need to win this one. Uh, it is a tall order without a doubt some people said that i quit too early that person knows who he is <laughs> i and... thought you did too. <laughs> wow well well I, I think i think if we had followed the entrenchment rules correctly i think he probably would have continued because then it would not have been as steep a climb as it looked like and i would have been so cocky uh with my deployments also so yeah, we'll see how this plays. It seems fairly straightforward until you actually start looking at how, how to get the points. And I think like Orange Courthouse at four, that's just too far away. I counted the hexes. It's like, there's no way to get there from here. Well, it certainly it incentivizes the Confederate player to just put as many literal obstacles along the railroad somewhere in there and just have to make the union if they want the double points for those they've just got to go and try to force them off in detail and i think that with three turns in an advanced game scenario certainly you've got 30 days to do it in three days i think that's a really tough ask but who knows i did see that this is someone did a recent playthrough on board game geek and the confederate strategy as i read that i believe was they fell back and defended culpepper so they basically turn it into an all or nothing battle at Culpepper, which I thought was an interesting, you know, very different than what I did, which is push and defend. Well, it's also like we've decided that the Union has spotted six points. If an aggressive Confederate player decides to cross the Rappahannock, they could deprive them potentially of oh. Rappahannock Station, you know. And, and the Confederates have the advantage of dropping subs, where the Union can't. So it's like, who do you... I was looking at this, it's like the poor six core with those huge divisions are going to end up with the job of picking up those guaranteed six points because they start out fatigue one and they're a long ways away. It's like, but I want those guys up at the front somehow. So we'll yeah, with, with 17 that. manpower, yeah, absolutely, right. Well, I think uh, we've, we've jibber-jabbered enough, so uh, we have. 
we will do this official like. So first, uh, let me wish you the best of luck in this one. Yep, best of luck to you. And if you want to do any union leader transfers, you are certainly welcome to do so. Um, yeah, that's a good question. I think I'll move Hunt with his plus one over to Hooker Stack. And he'll actually be assigned to Wilcox. That's it for me. I will forego any leader transfers. And I'll let you take the first initiative roll. Here we go. Ah, one six split. Well, there we go. Get it out of the way now. All right. Let's, uh, let's get the Culpepper crew moving here. I'm going to activate Longstreet, who will take everybody. This is going to sound very familiar. Pickett's going to leave behind a sub. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you you can't mess with success, so they all get that. Here's their movement roll of plus two. It's five. Okay. So we'll get them going one, two, oops, Pendleton will obviously go first. One, two, three, four, five to Brandy. We'll go there. Anderson will go one, two, three, four. And Pickett will go one, two, three, four, and five to there. All right. Initiative yours. Hey. Okay. Well, we'll start with the Ninth Corps. Getty, Sturgis, and under Greg and Farnsworth, we discovered was Mr. Burns. Here's their movement. Nice movement. Okay. So with that, I'm going to transfer Wilcox. And hunt to down to Burns. Uh, going to move Getty first. One, two, three, and four to there. What would Stuart like to do? Stuart will stand. Okay, we'll now take Burns next. Go one to there. Hunt Wilcox. So he has uh, six remaining. What would Stuart like to do now? They will now retreat. So I'm gonna flip them both. Give them a fatigue. They were at four to start, so they get a plus two to this roll. Uh, so here's their retreat. Yikes! Wow. All right. Day's starting out great. So, lose one. I give you a victory point for that. Uh, so, that was one plus two is three. So, you're going to lose just one movement. Uh, so, one, two, three, and four to there. Okay, so I lost one. So, that gives me five movement left. One to there. Two, three, four. I don't think I want to get cocky and cross the floor just yet. And Sturgis will go one, two, three, four, five, six. He'll go seven to there. Initiative? Mine again. I'll activate Getty. He's outside of. Cox range, so he's just going to get a single die roll. Here's his movement. He can go four. Go one, two, three, four to there. Initiative? Mine, wow. Uh, Wilcox again. Sturgis and Burns. Here's their movement. It's three. Wilcox and Hunt will transfer to Sturgis. And they'll go one to here, two to there. I have one remaining. So I'll finish off in a river bill for three. Barnes will do 
one, two to there. Initiative, yours. It's sort of, you could have, could you have calf retreated in a restricted sock? Or no. Mm -mm. But you could have when I moved into Riley's station, though. So, yes. yes. As soon as you enter there, I, I could. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, so, I'm going to do a cav retreat. As soon as they hit Riseyville. Riseyville? Riley. Riley. Alright, so we're one and a half. That is below, so we're going to get a minus two to this roll. No other modifiers, so here's the retreat. Okay. So it's a net three. Um, only option is to go away. That's the highest priority. And then farther away, two, three, four, and we'll send them back to Brandy Station. Brandy Station, a place that he loves so well. Uh, Burns will just go one to there. Okay. And then you have the you and have the I initiative. won the next initiative, okay. Hmm. This is not going well already. So I think it's gonna stay there. I will have Longstreet activate Anderson uh, and McClaws. Here is their movement plus two. Seven. I'll have Lee and Longstreet go first. They're going to go one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Anderson's going to go one to here, drop off a sub, a five, two to there, three, four, five to there. Initiative, yours. Cox will activate Burns. He's going to put up a flanks refuse, but he does have to roll for extend march. He's okay. And Will Cox, oh, he put up his flanks refused. And Will Cox and Hunt, they were going to transfer regardless of whether he got his flanks extended march. Should have said that first, I think, before I rolled for extended march. Uh, and they're going to transfer to him. Initiative. It's mine. Let's see how that plays out. Butterfield is going to activate all three of his divisions. He's green. Hooker. Yeah, he works for Hooker. Okay. Here's his movement. Seven. Sykes will go first. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven to there. Humphreys, one, three, four, five, six, seven to there. Butterfield, one, two, four, five, six, seven to there. Initiative, mine. Okay, we're not going to use Hooker to activate both the 3rd Corps and the 5th Corps. So this will be 1 die plus 2. There we go. Everybody will stay with who they're associated with. So Sykes is going to go 1, 2, 3. Humphrey's going to go one, two, three. Butterfield, one, two, three. Hooker, one, two, three. One, three, and one, two, three. Initiative, yours. I aim to misbehave here. So the way I understand it is I've got uh, 
one, two, three, four hexes covered, no flank, but you've got the flanks refused, so I'm going to get a plus one from that. Is that the way you see that? I see you have five hexes covered. Uh, well, yeah, this one's going to come, uh, yeah, that one's going to come off because I don't have a road into it. So. Oh, 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 and same thing here then too. Yeah, okay, I didn't need that. Well, I, I do have a road into this one from here. Oh, you do? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah that's right, okay. So I see so covered, 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 covered. So four hexes. Yes. Okay. I, I didn't even think about that coming off. Yeah, I didn't need that flanks refuse then, did I? So yes, you have plus one for flanks. Yeah. Okay. I had you I had your plus two when I was doing that flank calculation. So I, gotcha. Okay. okay. So yeah, with the, the entirety of the center wing bearing down on me, let's see if we can't score some points here probably not going to go well but i'm just in that kind of a mood today so we're going to attempt an assault with mcclaws onto wilcox so we're going to activate him he's going to go up uh, here's the assault attempt it comes right. off uh, i'm now going to attempt to bring anderson in with a grand assault from lee it does come in okay so now we've got both of them participating do the math. We've got plus one for assault, plus one for a tactical of four to three. We've got a plus one Lee bonus. We've got 25 to eight. That is three to one. Yes. So plus two for ratio. Artillery's not a factor in the woods. There is no terrain. And, and, I, don't, and I don't get the hunt bonus because it's the woods. I didn't think about that, but I don't get the hunt bonus. Okay. Does not does not apply in city, woods, swamp, or mountain terrain. Okay. So I see. So a plus. I should pluck him there. <laughs> so I put him there. <laughs> <laughs> Up and no down. If that is correct. Two, three, four, five. Yes. Final five is what I see. Okay. So here is a attack. Oh, jeez, Louise, you're just on fire on defense these days, man. All right, well, get you out of there, but it's going to be costly for me. Uh, Let's see, so that's it. I've got eight. Yep. So that's a one DR for me. And I've got 26. And what did I do? I didn't even give myself the plus one for the flanks refused, so let me see if that makes a difference. Uh, so it's a plus four net, right? Oh, plus four net. Yeah, yeah, so one DR, big R for you, so you're you're routed now. Yeah, uh, and then I demoralization. I'm only one little F, little A, so that's that's big. All right, so I can't do math either. I well, because we it's so funny we talk about this stuff and then we don't do it. Uh, all right, so I'm going to take give him one back. There we go, and they both get their little fatigue. Yeah, I actually have six. Yeah, I even have six there. One, two, three, four. That's stupid. Further away by road. One, two, three. Further away by road is four. I'm going to stop there. I make sure one, two, three. Yeah, four. Yep. Okay. Uh, I will take that hex and I'll leave Anderson there. Um, okay. Uh, initiative. Mine. I'm going to pass for the moment. See what you're going to do. Well, we'll try to do this grand uh, division activation again. I guess that's the downside, right? You're activating a bunch of guys, and you can roll one. That will include Humphreys in that. So that means they're going to need extend marches. So here's their movement, plus two. Come on. Uh, and I get twice as good as last time. Okay. Uh, Humphreys will go first. Here's his extend. He has to go to flip. He's going to go one, two, three, four to there. That's probably stupid, but that's what we're going to do. Sykes is going to go next. He goes to disorganized. He's going to go one, two, three, four to there. Okay, Griffin. He's okay. One, two, three, four to there. Two, three, 
four, three, four, two, three, four there. Initiative yours. Long Street activate picket. Uh, you'll get a fatigue two. Here's their movement plus two. Five. It's going to transfer to picket. They're going to leave a, a three sub behind. It will not leave any artillery. They get a movement of seven. Go one, two, three, four to there. Initiative yours. So, yeah, I'll use Stoneman to activate his three divisions. So, just a plus one. You can go four. It's not enough. Here's his extend march. He's okay. I'm going to force march Whipple. Here's his additional movement. Five, so he's going to lose a manpower. But they now have enough to get into Humphrey's Hex. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Bernie's just going to use the four movement. Here's his extend. He's okay. Two, three, four, and sickles his extend. He's okay. Two, three, and four. Initiative. Mine. I'll let you do whatever it is you're gonna do down there. So it looks like I need to take Reynolds's first core. And all of them, those three guys. That's going to be Doubleday, Gibbon, and Mead. Here's, and let's see. If I roll for movement first, four. Burnside is going to stay with the stack. And Franklin and Reynolds will stay with Doubleday. One, two, three, four, Mead, one, two, oh, these roads are terrible, three, four, given one, two, let's do it this way, three, four. Initiative, mine. Same three divisions. Here's their movement. There, it's what we're talking about. Play with double day. One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, wow, I should have gone that. I should have gone down this way. That cost me a hex. Okay, initiative. Mine again. Take the same three. Their movement. Six this time. There's double days extend march. He's going to go to disorganize. That's what I'm talking about. They go six. One, two, three, four, five, and six to there. Mead, six, ten, march. He's okay. He's going to go one, three, four, five, and six to there. Finally, Gibbon, six, ten, march. He's okay. He's going to go one, two, Four, five, six to there. 
initiative yours these strings of initiatives that you've been getting have made it nigh impossible for me to think about this stuff what I want to do versus what I can do alright I'm gonna have WH Lee activate Here's his movement, plus one, eight. He's gonna go one, two, three, four, five to there. Initiative, mine. I'm gonna have Hampton and F. Lee activate with Stuart. Fatigue level 3, here's their movement. 8. Here is the extended march for F. Lee. He's okay. Excuse me. He's gonna go. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4. And Hamptons extend. He's okay. He and Stuart will join. Initiative, mine, oh, sub one, activate with uh, Longstreet. He's going to fatigue level three. Here's the movement, eight. Here's extended march. Ah. Flips, okay, that changes it. So he, he's going to go one, two, three, four to there. Initiative. Yours. A pouch will activate all his divisions. Here's their movement. Three. Uh, the pouch, Summer, and Burnside will all stay with uh, Hancock. So they're going to go one. Well, these roads. Makes the most sense. I think. This makes the most sense. Two, three to there. Power will go one, two to there. French will go one, two to there. Initiative, mine. Same three guys. Here's their movement. Six this time. One. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And French will follow along behind. Initiative, yours. I'll pass. I'll take. I'll take them to fatigue three. Yeah. Like this scenario, I think I just got to push guys. So I'll take the same three, T3. Three. Is there movement? Yeah. Always makes me pay, doesn't it? I'll stay with Hancock. Here's his extend march. It's okay. I can just go two movement points right now. I'm not going to force march anybody. One, two, Howard's extend. He's okay. And French's extend. He, he's going to disorganize. Initiative, mine. Take hey, Greg. You can go five hexes. One, two, three, four, five. Initiative. Yours. I'll pass. Craig again. Oh, there we go. He's on fire. He's bounded down. Let's give Stuart something to think about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to there. Initiative. Mine. I'm going to take Hancock to fatigue four. 
Here's his movement. Seven. Extend march. He's okay. There we go. One, two, three, four. What would Stuart like to do? We'll stand. Okay. Yeah, we'll stop there. Initiative, mine. Take Farnsworth. Just movement. Eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Initiative. Yours. I'll pass. Farnsworth again. This movement. Ten. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five. He'll just join these guys. Initiative. Yours. Pass. I think I've moved everybody that I want to try to move, so I will pass as well. All right. So I'm going to hit the recover. Let me advance the time. You're now on turn two. Oh, you, you had Hood way down there. If you want to move him, you, you, you certainly can if you want to. I'll let you. Yeah, let me, uh, I'm going to remove theirs. And yeah. All right, so I'm going to move him a little bit. Here's movement. Uh, doesn't help. So he goes one, two, and he gets fatigue. Uh, and then movement again to fatigue level two. He's going to have an extend... Extend march on that. Oh no, he's not fatigued. He's just disordered. Yeah. Movement uh, three. No, we're fast. One, two, and three. So I will. Uh, I will leave him there. Yeah. So he will come down to no fatigues and still disorganized. Okay. That was rough. That was a rough turn one. You get that. I, I always say, I love playing the defense, and then I realize, oh, I don't like playing the defense when you get a string of initiatives and oh, you get yeah. some, some hot movement rolls. I'm like, don't! The union's not supposed to do <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, the initiatives were great. The, I had I had plenty of ones in my movement, but I had enough fives and sixes to make up for it in the... Uh, uh, at least for this scenario, trying to utilize that grand division thing was kind of... Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Kind of, I felt like it was, uh, you, then you get that one, and it's like, okay. Yeah. That's the downside. You just now have a bunch of units, and they get to move three, but. Well, anyway. I realize, I, I probably, I mean, I know I overcommitted McClaws and Anderson and all that up there, so. Uh, and, of, of course, forgetting Hood is down there, but at least I have Hood and Ransom to pick up some of the slack, but I need to uh, <laughs> get them moving. Uh, these the movement rolls are just kind of, I mean. They are what they are. They're killing me, but you, that string of initiatives, you got three or four, and all of a sudden, bam! What I wanted oh. to do exactly last week, I was unable to do, and you did. So I was like, damn, that's that's what it's supposed to look like. The Roger playbook. Uh, so, leader transfers. So let me see. Yeah, let me just start from left to right. I'll start with Wilcox. He's going to go to Sturgis. I'll move Butterfield. Sykes, Hunt to Sykes to Butterfield. This added Grand Division thing adds a certain level of complexity. Yeah, I'll move Hooker there as well. Leaving everybody else where they are. Okay. I think I'll move Lee and Longstreet up to McClaws. Stuart will stay where he is. And that's it for me. So, uh, let's see. Since you rolled the first initiative on the last one, I'll roll it on this one. So here we go. That's mine. Right. Longstreet will activate Anderson, McClaws, and Sub-3. Here's their movement. Activation. Here's the movement plus two. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Anderson will go first. Here's extended march. He flips. He will go one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight to there. Sub three will go one, two, three to there. And my claws will go one, two, three to there. Do I want to put up a flanks refused? No. Okay. Uh, initiative. Yours. Okay, we're going to have Butterfield activate Sykes and Griffin. Do I need Humphreys? No, I don't. So here's their movement. No extend march is needed. Oh. Butterfield, Hooker, and Hunt all transfer to Griffin. Sykes is going to go one, two to there, and stop. Griffin's going to go one, two, three, four. He would have three remaining. We'll stop there, see if we get the next initiative. I do, okay. So Butterfield will attempt a core assault on Pickett. With Griffin. Butterfield is a five. So it comes off. So this will be a type of a plus one. Tactical is going to be even. Artillery is four two, so that's covered. Ratio is 17 to seven. So that's going to be a plus one for ratio. I have five hexes covered because I have a road into the woods hex. You do, yep. So it's a flank of a plus two. I have artillery and I have hunt for the hunt bonus of a plus one. I concur. So it's going to be five up and none down for a final of a plus five. Okay. okay plus five. Here's the attack roll. It's an eight. Here's the defense roll. There we go. Oh, almost as good. So that's going to be a plus two final. Plus two final. Going to be some manpower losses for me, I think. 17. Yep. 1DA. 1DA for me. And I'm a 7, so 1DR for me. It's an exchange. This guy, that was now out of. Horse to combat. Flips to disorganize. He will go away, no road. And into Brandy Station. And I want that X. Fortunate result. Really was hoping to, that drove you back right in there too. Take the hex, what do I buy? Not enough. I'm going to leave him there, I think. Initiative, yours. I'm going to activate sub one under Stuart. Uh, here is his movement. Plus one. Three. And he's simply going to go to there. Initiative. Yours. Howard for movement. Here's his movement roll. He can go to one due to their initiative. Yours. I will activate Hampton and F. Lee. Here's their movement plus three. Woo! Go one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Initiative, yours. 
Okay, I'm going to activate Humphreys, with, who's under Stoneman with Butterfield. Here's his movement. He can go three. Hmm. I'll transfer. Humphreys is going to go to there, and these guys are all going to transfer down to him. Initiative. Mine. Okay, Stoneman's going to activate all three of his guys. Here's their movement. Ain't go six hexes. Stoneman's going to transfer to Bernie. Let's have Whipple do that. Stoney and Burma are going to go one. Two to there, so I have four movement points remaining. What would W.H. Lee like to do? Yeah, and W.H. Lee will retreat. So he will take a fatigue and flip. Here's his retreat roll. He's going to get a plus two to this. Six, so you'll lose th Rain, three. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so he's got to go Away out of Zoc. One, two, three, four by road. And we'll do five to there. And so, yeah, we'll move to St. James Church. Sickles, he has six. So he'll go one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Okay. Initiative. Mine. Couch will activate Hancock and Howard. Here's their movement. They have four movement points. I'm going to have Howard go first. Here's his extend. He's okay. He's going to go one, two to there. He has enough to make a normal attack on sub one. Yeah, we'll, we'll attack on the march. So this will be... Uh, yeah, I missed the ratio completely. Plus two and flank is plus two. Let's see if I can get you out of the way. Here we go. Oh, nice. Oof. I need a, come on, big six, big six. All right, well, so you got up on that. So I'm a three, so I lose a DR. Yep. Okay, so lose a D, I'll lose one. And luckily that doesn't help with that. And one, two, three. Give you a VP. Okay. So, I must go out of Zoc, one, two, three, four to there. Does that look good? Yeah. Okay. And, let's see. Hit the hex, he's going to be in the way. Can get to the... This is a lot of work to take a one. Well, actually, it's two points. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, I will not take the hex. And here's Hancock's extend march. He's okay. So he's going to go one, two, three, and four to there. Okay, initiative. Yours. Well, I guess Anderson's got to go to three. Here's uh, his movement. He's okay. Here's his extended march of plus one. He's okay, and he will put up a flanks refused. Initiative. Yours. Let's see. The flanks refused takes a plus two flank to a plus one. Is that right? Correct. I'm going to take Bernie to fatigue two. Here's, their, here's his movement. 
Geekle 3, here's his extend. He's okay. I'm just going to have him join that hex. Initiative, it's yours. I will have Hood March. Here's Hood's movement plus one, four, one, two, three, and four. Initiative. Mine. Hood will go to two. Here's movement. Five this time. One, two, three, four, and five. Initiative. Mine again. Hood to three. He did do it, but I gotta. Movement. Six. Three. Dang it. Uh, uh, he will go. Extended march. He's okay. One, two. Hmm. Doesn't matter if you do either one of those, so. I'm just going to keep it there. Uh, initiative, yours. Okay. We're going to try this. We'll see how it works. So we're going to try Stoneman, third core. We're going to attempt an assault with Bernie and Sickles. He's a five. Here we go. It's a four, so only one of them can come in. So I choose Bernie, because he has more artillery. Okay, now I'm going to see if Hooker will approve of a Grand Division assault. And I, if I read the rules, this will determine my assault number. It's a four. So I can bring in one additional hex, provided Burnside approves which he does. So I can bring in one additional hex, which will be Humphrey's hex. So that'll be Humphrey's with Whipple, which will be 10. So I have a total manpower of 20 with 10 pieces of artillery. So we'll start with the type is a plus one. Tactical is even. Uh, your manpower is 13, so manpower is not a factor. Your artillery is 5, 7. I have 10 for plus 3, so artillery is not a factor. There is no terrain, so that's not a factor. I have 5 hexes covered for a plus 2 flank, but your flank protection takes off one, so the flank is just a plus 1. And finally, I am bringing in a hex with, with Mr. Hunt, who coordinates my artillery. So that's a plus one. For a final of a plus three attack, is how I interpret all those numbers. Yep, that's how I see it. For two lousy victory points. Here we go, plus three, if I even get this pulled off. And it's a five, so I uh, could see a lot of different options here. Okay, here is my defense. Oh, minus one. Okay, stand so, dandy. So that's 20 band power for me is a 2D. Who do I want to take them off? And I'm fatigued. Yeah, I was tiring. So, okay, so Whipple, he's done. So that's going to be one, two, three for Whipple. Uh... Humphreys is going to be done. One, two, three for him. And Bernie's going to be done. One, two, three for him. He's also going to go to disorganize. And they were already disorganized. Now i got to choose who's going to lose some manpower. I hmm. guess I'll take it off of Humphreys. Both off of Humphreys. Initiative. Yours? Well, I think this is through. How am I going to do this? 
I will uh, activate a ransom. Uh, here's movement. Six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Initiative. Mine. Ransom again. Uh, move it. Three. One, two, three. Initiative. Line, ransom to three. Movement, six. Extended march. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six to there. Initiative, line, I will pass. Okay. Okay, okay, what do we do here? Well, I still have Reynolds is still in the fight. So I'll take Howard activating with Couch. Just movement. You can go three. Here's his extend. This will be plus two. So he's going to go to Disorganize. Which means he's not going to be force marching anywhere. One. Two to there. Initiative. Mine. Okay. We'll take first core. Is there movement? Four. One. Two. Three. Four to there. Mead. One. Two. Three. Four to there. Given one, two, three, four to there. Initiative, yours. I'm going to take Hood to fatigue level four. Here's a movement and extend. He's going to lose a manpower. And he's going to just go there. Initiative. Yours. Take Bayard at Rappahannock Station. Loses his entrenchments. He can go four hexes. He's going to go one, two, three, four to there. Initiative. Mine. Take Bayard again. There's his movement. Wow. How we talk about failing morale checks. I got to tell you, mine's <laughs> in the toilet right now. Yeah. What? <laughs> Two to there? It's the Union <laughs> Malays, man. <laughs> initiative. Mine? Ah, oh, man. I get the getting them, though. Jeez. Okay, so let's see. Take hey, Greg. Probably not worth what I'm trying to do, but. You can go nine. Where I wanted Bayard to get to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine to there. Initiative. Yours. Yeah, I see what you're doing. So it's best. Not too much I can do about that. So I'm going to pass. Take Farnsworth, Peak 1. Here's his movement. 6. He goes 1, 2 to there. He has 4 left, which would be enough for a normal attack. So it'd be a plus two for, no, not a plus two for flank, because I don't have 2517 covered. You would get one, two, three, four, five covered. Yeah. And then because they're cavalry. Yeah, it, plus it, one. Yeah. Oh, wait. I, I, it's yours. Well, I guess at this point, I'll just activate them to do that. And uh, move it. And... Put up flanks refused. 
initiative. Mine, uh, I'll pass. Okay, uh, we'll try it with Bayard. Here's his movement. It's a six, so not any better. I was hoping to get enough for a paired, not getting it. Extend March, insult to injury. I yes. think he flips. Cause they he's... will flip. It's 1862, yeah. Yeah. So he's just going to go one to there. And let's see, your flanks refuse to think now it takes that back to a plus one, I believe. That's a plus one mm -hmm. by the time it's all over and done with. Yeah. So start with plus one flank because everything else is equal. Minus one for tactical, minus one for artillery because you have one gun, I have none. Mm-hmm. So I see this as a minus one attack. Minus one attack. Here we go. Minus one. Two. Okay. Here's defense. Uh, look at that. By plus so one. Plus one. So that's probably just going to give you a D, which you're already disorganized. Probably. D me out. And it D's me out as well. Somewhat pointless. Initiative. Yours. I'm going to pass. Greg, why not? <laughs> Increase fatigue. See how, he got, see how he does. Movement. Ah, there we go. Uh, same math as before, but now I get it prepared. So now right. this will be an even up attack. Okay. Five. Oh, I've got some possibilities here. Here's defense. Six. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> minus so minus one. one I'm still D'd out. DD, yeah. People are laughing at us. Why are you guys doing this? Because I'm trying to get a manpower loss, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do with cavalry. Initiative. Mine. Try it with Farnsworth. Last try. Here's movement. It's a six, so this is going to be a minus one attack. Same math as before. Minus one. So three, it's two. It's two. Disorganized. Well done. Well played. Increase fatigue. Increase fatigue. Plus, I wanted him out of that hex because I want to move Reynolds without having to lose any manpower through a cab retreat. But let's see. Initiative. Mine. Okay. Take Reynolds T2. Here's their movement. They have five movement points. Uh, Reynolds will st and Franklin will stay with Doubleday. Here's Doubleday's Extend. He's okay. He has five movement points. He will go uh, one to there. What would W.H. Lee like to do? Okay. So my options are uh, four, four, or four. So we will cav retreat. Delete that. Here's cav retreat roll. They're, they're at fatigue level four, so minus one to this roll. So three. Um, so they'll go one away, and then out of Zoc, two away, three away, and four away. That cost me two, two uh, right? It was, uh, reduced to three, so yeah. just lose, you just lose one on him. Oh, just lose one, so I got, I moved one to four, so I have three movement points remaining. So he's going to go, this will be so it's one, two, three, four to there. And Stuart will stand, of course. Okay. He'll go one, two, three. Oh, extend March on him. He's okay. Four, five. I can remember what that cutoff is. It's 11 to cut off. Yeah. Oh, more than 11. He can't get there. One, two, three, oh, four, and I'll give him his extended march. Y 
And he flips because he I just rolled a six for disorganization. Uh, okay, this is just ridiculous. Ridiculously hard. I feel like I'm doing something terribly wrong, but I just don't know what it is. Uh, initiative, mine. Oh, I forgot about French. Let's bring up French. There's his movement. Okay. One to there. Initiative. Mine. Take French again. There's his movement. Five this time. Two. Three. Four. Five. Initiative. Yours. Stuart will activate Hampton and F. Lee. Here is the movement plus three, six. Um, he's going to stay with Hampton. Uh, F. Lee's extend. He loses the manpower and he's gone. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Uh, Hampton's extend. He's okay. So we'll go one, two, three, and four to there. Initiative. Yours. Reynolds will activate double day for movement. Here's his movement. Here's his extend. So that's five plus. Two, two is seven on manpower greater than equal to ten, so he loses two manpower. And you know what? He's just going to do a min move to twenty seventeen. Initiative mine. Take double day to fatigue four. Here's his movement. Here's his extend. This is plus three. Plus four. Plus four. Six. Uh, he loses an additional manpower. He's going to go zock to zock to there. He's going to lose another manpower. Okay. Initiative. Yours. Hmm. I think it's time to get... McClaws moving. So McClaws is going to activate. He's going to go to fatigue level. Is that what I want to do? Where's McClaws? He's up here with Lee. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, big hunk of piece of manpower. Yeah. No, you know what? I'm just going to I'm going to pass. I'm going to just let you do that. Okay. We'll see what we can let's see. Okay, I'm going to activate Meade and Gibbon with Reynolds. Here's their movement. That's what I was looking for. Here's Meade's extend. That's a four plus, dang it, six. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Disorganize. Okay, that big stack's just going to do a min move to there. Uh, Gibbons extend. He's okay. So they're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Initiative. Mine. Okay. okay Reynolds is going to attempt a core assault on Hood with Gibbon and Meade. Here's the attempt. Does not come off. Initiative. Yours. I will continue to pass. Okay. I think at this point now it's becoming an exercise in futility. I'll take Getty and Sturgis with Wilcox. Is there movement? Six hexes. They're going to go one, two, three to there. And he's going to go one, two, 
three, four, five, and six, because he's only 11. Initiative. Mine. Oh, there's a creek. There's always a creek. Damn it. Always a creek. It's kind of my thing. We'll attempt a core assault on the sub right where we are. Here's the attempt. Wilcox is a five. It's a three, so they both come in. Yay! Type is a plus one. Tactical. I get a tactical. Plus one. Ratio now is 16 to three, so that's going to be plus four ratio. You have no artillery. None. I have five. That might actually be something. Plus five in rough is going to be nothing. Finally, we have a creek. For minus one. Yeah, six up, one down. All right. Oh, there we go. All right, there you go. Here you go. Here's my defense. Oh, yeah. plus six. Kick up a win, power loss anyway. Yes. I go to 16. That's am I going to cross Three. over? Oh, good. I guess get an advance. Oops. This manpower. All right. So, manpower loss. And they're going to run all the way away. One, two, three. Oh, of course, you back into the victory point locations. It's so annoying. Four, five. <laughs> yes. We Rally on Culpepper! We will advance. Initiative? Yours. Alright, now we'll draw back. So McClaws will drop back. Here's his yeah. movement, plus two. Six. Here's extended march of plus one. Uh, he flips. And he will go... One, two... Three to there. Keep going. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. That will be there. He can't move. He can't come around. Yeah, we'll stop there. Uh, initiative. Mine. I will pass. I'll take Sykes to fatigue. Two. Yeah, I'm right. ah, this is just so ridiculous. He works for Fifth Corps, which is Butter. Oh, I can transfer. I can activate him with Butterfield. So I'll be a plus one to his movement. And he can go seven hexes. Yahoo. So we will transfer Butterfield. Transfer Hooker. Butterfield. Most importantly, Hunt. He's going to go... Did I roll Extended March on him? You, you have not yet. Extended March. And at 6 plus 1. So he loses a manpower. And he goes 7 hexes. So he's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, Five to there. He's on your flank. Initiative. Yours. Tension. All right. Uh, well, I feel like I need to try this, so Lee will attempt an assault on Sykes. So McClaws will go to four. Here's the assault attempt. It comes off. So we got plus one assault, plus two tactical, plus one for Lee, and uh, its ratio is same. Artillery, you've got the same as me, so you got a die roll in rough. It is used, and you've got hunt. So I'll subtract that from mine as well. So one for assault, one for tactical, one for Lee, uh, and then minus two for 
artillery minus one and hunt minus one. Yep. So I see just a plus one attack. Yep. Okay. Plus one attack. Here we go. Attack. Three. Ooh, plus two. Plus two. It's on a ten and ten. So, so I lose another manpower. So do I. But I get you out of there. Yeah. And I lose a manpower. And then that was a DR. Little D, little R. Yeah, big D, little R. Yep. So he's tired. And we'll go. Further away by road. Oops. Further away by road. Further away by road. And I don't think I can continue because, I mean, I, you get, I'd have to move into your Zoc, which I don't Correct. think I'm allowed to do. Right, right. Yeah. So uh, he'll uh, stop there. Okay. I'll stay. I did what I needed to do and get you out of there. Yeah. Yep. All right. Initiative. It's yours. Well, uh, Smith says, I've been sitting up here with all these manpower, so we'll move them, I guess. We got guard duty. I think go four hexes, five with the extra MPs. So we'll take, I guess Howell will lead the way. So they're going to go one. Uh, speaking of that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and force march how. I'll force march all these guys. So they're going to go to disorganize. Here's their roll. They lose a manpower. can go an extra two hexes. So I start off with five movement points. Put that in there. So you can go an extra two. So you can go seven. It's going to go one, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven to there. Smith will go with Newton, who's going to go next. Here's his. He's going to force march. He flips. Here's his force march roll. He does not lose a manpower and gains an additional two, so he can also go seven hexes. And Smith's going to go with him. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven to there. And finally, Brooks will flip. Ah, will he flip? No, he doesn't need to flip. He'll go five. One, two, three, four, five to there. Initiative. You, the Confederates. Pass. Take Brooks. This is movement. He goes five, because I march. He's going to flip. Not that I care. He's just going to go one, two, and three to there. Initiative. Doing pass. Yes, pass. These two guys. Here's their movement. He goes seven. Nice. And how's extend march? Uh, that's going to be six plus one, seven. On 16, it's going to be a lot. Two manpower losses. One and two. He can go seven hexes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And finally, Newton's extend march. That's a five plus one is a six, so he's going to lose one manpower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Initiative. Person pass. Pass. Take Newton of T4. Why not? Who cares? Here's his movement. Ooh, seven again. Extend March. Five plus two. That's going to be another two manpower losses. He can go seven hexes. Oh, they march like crazy. Can't fault him for that. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Initiative. Confederate. Pass. 
I will pass as well. And I think, well, let's do the recovery, I guess. Okay, yeah, let's do recovery. Let's see what we got. Okay, recovery is complete. I'm going to adjust them down to B2. There we go. That's the only one. So right now, I have seven points. Because I have one manpower advantage. And I need to somehow get to 14. Yes. How does that make you feel? Well, I guess I can maybe get there. Uh, if you want to call this, I'm happy. I don't think... It's don't not think, me. It's you calling it. The only way I can see winning now is I surround Brandy Station mm -hmm. and, and force you to retreat through... Get manpower losses going through a tree. So I think it's possible. It is possible, um, depending, of course, if I get the initiatives. Yeah, get the initiatives, get out of there, and... Yeah. Driving Hooker and Butterfield back to there was unfortunate, but I would have to react to that. Um, so I, at this point, let's let's just game it out on in the theater of the mind. Uh, presuming I get the first couple initiatives, uh, I will transfer... Lee and Longstreet to there. Yep. And I will move everybody out to there. Yep. I will surrender Brandy Station to you and then try yep. to make a bulwark around Culpepper, Culpepper. here. Yeah. Yep. And then yeah. that would give you two points two for that. Points. So yeah, you'd have eight total. Yeah, or I, I guess seven with the manpower loss. Yeah, yeah so I, I, I don't... <laughs> yeah, Holger won't be happy, but I, I'm definitely... I mean, I know you've got things to do, and I, I probably do too as far as that goes. I've heard my wife come home. I'm happy to call it. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, that's fine. I, I know, Yeah, <laughs> we we appreciate all the enthusiasm that we get as far as play it all the way out, but let's pivot over. I think this is, you and I have both experienced the the millstone that is the union on this one. Let's talk about our thoughts for the overall scenario and uh, as some thoughts came to mind, I guess I'll, I'll start on this one now having played it both sides. Uh, because it's a basic scenario, we can just put that... I think because it is a three-turn scenario, it, let's talk about the flow of it from, from what I have noticed on both of our plays. Turn one turns out to be this, uh, of course, movement-dependent. It looks like there's a little bit of skirmishing in different places. You and I, you chose here because you got some great moves up here towards hazel river so there's some skirmishing possible there that really will set the tone but it seems like if the confederate gets the string of initiatives as you did in the first game you're going to establish where you want your different defensive perimeter if the union gets them as you did today you're going to set the tone about where you want to make your assault and you chose literally the center i think you can go far right for union right you can go union center or you can go union left last week i went union left and you countered of course and it, which is silly because i saw you were defending there i was like be like water be where you're not and that's what i what's what the union needs to choose to do and i think because you had the benefit of the early initiative roles and you went down the warrington pike towards the center that is what you need to do on this one. So there's some little skirmishing that's really up to the circumstances. I think that's perfect. And then turn two is really about set it all up. And then depending on what happens, uh, you decided to take those opportunities and those shots here at Brandy Station this time. But I think turn three is literally you take the shot. You know, you either make it or you don't early on, and then you can just say, if you're on the table, yeah, let's, we're done here. So I think the math on this one is very, very tight. And, you know, even spotting six points here, I, I think for the Union, it's incredibly onerous to, because the small amount of Confederate forces here can really, because they're in defensive and Longstreet was. A master of this, he is setting up great defensive capabilities. You got some good surrounds on me here today, which is really unfortunate. And my one opportunity to try to stop you up here near the Hazel River, that went poorly because you rolled six. That affected me a lot in turn one because I could not 
bring those units down here and now I'm scrambling all through turn two. But I was able to scramble in a good way, which is fine. I think the Confederates have that luxury as they've they've got the opportunity to make a little bit go a long, long way. And then, of course, your comment there, there's always a creek. Well, you know that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I, I'm always going to park behind a creek if I can. In some cases where there's not one available, I'm going to try to make it so that you're going to get it, but it's going to take everything that you have to try to bring that in. And I'm going to lose a little bit and you're going to lose equal or more. And that's what I'm that's what I'm counting on even if you know we get parity on the dice rolls because you've brought so many people in I know the CRT so the union are going to pay on that one um, that's what I kind of see on this one I don't see a lot of people perhaps playing it all the way through Holger turn three I think is already predetermined just because of the layout and it's just a couple of quick combats maybe and you either are or you're not I think a lot of these extra ones down here are really incentivizing but i mean even with your best movement rolls you were still encountering friction and i was not going to let you past brandy station or culpepper so for you to get all the way down to mitchell's or rapidan or orange courthouse i think is a really tall order <laughs> i don't know why they put those there but it's possible i guess so that's my thoughts on this one what do you think yeah i mean i felt you know the first day I mean, after we played through with you as a union, I felt, okay, it's pretty clear the union's got it, that you just got to burn your guys out. And I felt you've got to march hard and hope you get a lot of good, which I, could, I did get good movement rolls. And I did make a lot of headway on day one. Uh, but then day two became this exercise of, as you were doing a great job of blocking me, I obviously spent a lot of time trying to some manpower losses, some cheap manpower losses, and didn't really get them. And finally, I felt like I had to make a mass attack it. The way it was playing out, I wasn't able to drive down, uh, what's that turnpike you actually, the Warrington turnpike? The Warrington, yeah. Got down to Culpepper, because you kind of did a nice job of blocking me, and I kind of shifted towards Bealton Station, because I needed Bealton Station to get the double points for Culpepper, which I needed, because without the double points of Culpepper, it's still not enough. Yeah, this was really, you know, you, you, I felt like I, you have a huge manpower advantage as the Union, but you have to waste three divisions to, to pick up those six points. And that's just the truth of it. And then, I don't know, I think this is really hard for the Union. I, I, and I realize people probably haven't played it very often, but kind of up in the air right now. I, I feel like, obviously, I know we're stopping this, and I feel like, you know, if I could get the next, start the initiatives with two or three initiatives, and somehow pull off a grand assault on uh, Brandy Station, I could possibly pull it out, but that's what it would take. I'd have to get a lot of man because Culpepper's off, off the books right now. I don't think I could get an attack on Culpepper pulled off. And What I do like about where we are with Brandy Station is that uh, short of Hunt getting right there, even if he does get there, I, I'd like to think that I've got some opportunities yep. with roads. The road network is really conducive for retreating. So I'm at the advantage to just make a stand there and maybe lose a manpower, but I'm going to make you potentially lose more because you're yep. doing all of that setup and it yep. doesn't take much to counter your advantage there by just having hood and a uh, flanks refused. If, if Mead and Gibbon had been able to pull off their attack and get hood out of there, then I think it's game on, but I wasn't able, that failure was really kind of the last. Oh, right. Yeah. The setup draw. here. Yeah. Um, That's where I was going with that was I appreciated here in this second game that you managed to get the opportunity to perform a grand division assault using Burnside and, uh, and Hooker and everybody. So that was great to just see the mechanics of that now having gone through and seeing, okay, you're, you're, you're getting the number of hexes from the Grand Division leader being Hooker. That's what you're rolling against. And then finally, okay, that's your number. And will Burnside allow it? So you did get to successfully attempt that, you know, bringing 20 versus 10, but that 10 is a very potent 10 because yeah. <laughs> they're on the, on the defense, right? So, um, it was it was good. I, I like I like that. I really am uh, disappointed in the occupy versus the control. Oh, control. That's a big part. So we need to put that as a note as a 
balancing factor. And for me personally, I this has three small strikes against it. These are not bad in any way. This is these are just my personal reservations on it. The first one is that it is a basic scenario, you know, because we're so we've seen the top of the mountain there. We're used to the advanced campaigns now. That's fine. It is what it is. Second, it's the first one of the basic scenarios in this little module. So it's all about moving pieces and perhaps getting you used to what's going on with the situation. And uh, and three, it's my unfamiliarity with it is that's a small that's on me. That's a small strike. It's just like I've played so many of the other titles so much that I can mentally prepare myself. OK, he's going to come from here and he's going to do that with you, Roger, as a good opponent. If you take advantage of those really good movement rolls, which you do, and you get a string of initiatives, you really, really make me mentally scramble. I'm like, uh-oh, it's it's all going to fall apart now. And so I have to do my best, whatever that is, my, my, my competent play to try to just scramble, okay? Rally on Brandy Station, try to make a stand, rally on Culpepper, do whatever. So I have to, at the same time, figure out where to make a stand. That's part of this. But also when to just leave the union to their own devices like go ahead keep marching go ahead march to three do it oh you flipped that's a shame you know yeah so <laughs> sometimes and, and down here there was literally nothing i could do until you tried with reynolds to attack that cavalry and, and come into the zoc everything else i thought that was great you took three shots at it to just get a manpower loss and they all failed, so I look like a genius with that. But it's there was literally nothing because I'm not going to move here and and lose a manpower and and do yeah. that. So I just waited you out, and that's what that's what you can do as the Confederates, I think. Yeah, I was hoping obviously to get figured you know something would happen. Of course, Bayard wasted <laughs> couldn't even get to where I wanted him to go in the first place. It, this scenario, I think I don't know. I have to. I guess that's why they play test a lot. And probably when this was developed, there weren't probably didn't have vassal. So people were probably play probably testing not. it, uh, on, on the actual map encounters and, and in bringing in some new and interesting rules, uh, the grand division is certainly interesting. It's hard to make it work in this scenario because they start off scattered, which may be something to look at. I have, I have to go find that out and, and dig into that. Uh, if, if they are actually thinking about republishing this in some form or fashion. Uh, and for me, the, the very idea of play testing these is my, <laughs> it's just, this is where my brain don't work so good is there's so many variables. There's so many, the, the string of initiatives, the yeah. movement roles, how do you normalize and account for those to try to make it quote balanced? You offset the VPs, you know, the VP locations, things like that. But there are so many moving parts of these things that whenever I'm volunteering to play test them, I oftentimes don't know what to offer. I'm saying, well, I got really, you know, a luck is a big factor. I got incredible movement rolls. I rolled sixes on combat every time. So what does that tell you? Is that a play balance thing? No, it's not. It's nothing related to the scenario. So you have to play 50, 60 times and just have this massive spreadsheet of things to try to account for the math on it and saying, well, yeah, more often than not, the Union player is going to approach from Rappahannock Station or from the Hazel River. And then you try to account for that. But I, I do not envy Chris and Joe and Ed and uh, and anyone who works on these to try to normalize or balance these scenarios because to me, wow, this is perfectly balanced, but we do have quibbles about this, that, and the other. So you're never going to make every player happy. And it's just going to be that situation, oh. that circumstance that you're in when you play it. Yeah. And I think the question is, is it tilted? I don't know. Like you said last week, maybe this is a scenario where the union player has to go for manpower losses. Yeah. And, 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 and the, the, uh, the VP locations are not, as you call them, fool's gold. I mean, certainly I think these guys, anything south of Culpeper, if you've got to get there with a the Union infantry, is too far away. <laughs> it's just The roads just don't, are not conducive to getting you there in a three-turn scenario. Uh, maybe make it a four-turn scenario, and, and something like that would completely change. Well, I think they have the liberty to do that because if this is a an alternate history, you know, why yeah. did they do three days? Why not four? You know, yeah. why? So, uh, 
maybe anyway. adding an extra day will swing it completely in favor of the union because yeah. the juggernaut has gotten down there. Who knows? Yeah, that uh, you know, I'm not pushing guys to fatigue four on day one because I felt like I've got to get close enough <laughs> so I can make an attack on Culpepper by day three. Anyway, I, I enjoyed it. I think there's nothing wrong with that. It's funny that you and I both enjoy it, but it, oftentimes we're like, my personal morale has failed. And well, it, it does. It's just, it, there's, there's a point where it's like, okay, you know, a cavalry unit should be able to go from Rappahannock Station to where Greg is into Guy Rawls. <laughs> he really should. <laughs> and he didn't even get across the damn river. Sorry. Paul, I blame cut-rate Union Quartermaster <laughs> suppliers. That's yeah, what it is. There's something yeah, wrong there. It's just, it's just like, it kind of just wears on. It's like, hey, he's trying to do one simple thing. Just try it. Just make one simple thing. Uh, we will wrap up then scenario number one. And uh, we are officially at two hours and 40 minutes. So when you get this version of it, it will be cut down significantly, hopefully about an hour and a half. So I can cut an hour of our thinky thinky time out of this one. But we appreciate everybody watching. Again, thank you for all the feedback and the enthusiasm and the wonderful support that we're getting with this new series. And keep it coming. Keep those clicks and likes and subscribes and all that good stuff. I'm showing you the reminder now. We would love to hear your feedback on this after you've watched it. It's funny when these come out, I see the, the diehards will watch it in the first few hours and they'll start making comments and I'm like, spoilers, you know, but it's okay. It's okay. It's cool. It's not, it's not a big deal. So uh, it, it's wonderful. And then we get Holger is usually about two days out afterwards. So I can kind of time the feedback when I expect uh, who's who's going to be responding out there. So thank you to everybody. Here is also a list of all of our financial supporters. Thank you for all of you who kick in a buck or two here and there. And if you'd like to, there's the Ko-Fi link right there in the description that really supports the channel in all sorts of ways. So Roger, down the road, nobody will care, but you're going to about to take a, a, a bit of travel here. So we're going to be off for uh, four weeks. So we'll just put that right here in the video for you and I will have some other content released in our stead but uh, you have safe travels my friend and I will see you when you get back yep see you in a month or so bye bye